beautiful people of the world is the creative rush here and today we are being gonna be, uh, I don't know how to talk and today we're gonna be learning how to make a, uh, a character in your game that where you can switch from first to third person with the press of a button in our last episode we played Star Wars Battlefront which is a disappointing game I'll say I, I wanted more from it but well what you gonna do it's EA they're, they're bound to do something wrong so much DLC so much DLC. No, I don't want a new weapon skin. Keep those things away from me. Ah! But we covered the feature on how if you press a button, it will switch from first to third person. And I went ahead and made that in my own game, as I usually do. And today we're going to learn how to do that. So, as we've dictated in our other videos, our next example comes up right here. Just go, go to the cutaway. C cutaway. Just just go to, the, just go to the next part. Go to our example, come on. Dude, can you just cut away the video, please? Is, is that so hard? Cut away the video. Okay, oh, right. okay, thank so you, here thank you, we have you, our game, you. and if you follow the tutorial correctly, it should look a little something like this. So, see we're in first person, you can see our feet. And like it does in Star Wars Battlefront, we sort of sway left to right when we look left and right. Then, here's what the pretty much tutorial is about. If we hit the F button, or you can set it to whatever button you want, it'll go into third person. You'll see it move, the camera move, and it'll go into third person. Also, this is a weird time to mention this, but I wanted to bring something up about, like, my, my channel. I've, my subscriber number has been all over the place, and I have no idea what's going on. I had, I think, 26 at the time when it started. 26. And then, like, one day, all of a sudden, I have 72 on my subscriber number count. I'm thinking, oh wow, I just got a ton. Go to bed, wake up, look at my phone, I have 140. And I'm thinking, this is like insane. I don't know why I'm getting so many subscribers. Well, like, I go to school, I then after school, I go to look at my phone and like the weirdest thing happened, I went down a lot and I had 59 subscribers, which is like, okay, I don't know what just happened, but I went down. <laughs> then gradually throughout that day, it kept going down until I was up, not up, I was down to 49 subscribers. Which is still more than I started out with, but still, from 140, that's a big drop. And then I'm like, I'm looking at my phone here the, uh, just a while ago, and I have 60 subscribers. And then I look about an hour later and have 58. Now, I don't know what's going on with my subs and everything, but either all you guys are bipolar or YouTube's going bonkers. Because <laughs> I have never seen my subscriber count fluctuate so much. I'm still happy that I have way more than I did before. I went up more than 100% increase. But still, it's like, it's all over the place. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? Let's hope our cutaway guy is still going. Are you, are you fine? You good? Do you think you can do this? Okay. Our cutaway guy's fine, so let's go to the tutorial. Go! Come on, Dave, you really- Okay, we're good. Okay, this is good. All right, now that we're in Unity, you're going to want to start off with a blank scene with the terrain and directional light, preferably. Also, I want to say I'm recording with Windows Game Bar, which I, I haven't been a fan of lately. Um, it kind of, when you see the video, it might fluctuate in quality here and there, but it's my only option because my microphone has been cutting out when I use my capture card. It's really been annoying me, but I'll, I'll figure out something soon. I'm looking into Bandicam. But you're going to want to start off with your blank scene. Well, not blank, terrain, and directional light. Blech. And you're going to want to pick up a first-person controller. So go to your standard assets, character, first-person controller. <clears throat> Put him up to Y1 so he doesn't touch the ground. Now we're going to pick our player model, because you won't really be able to tell the rotation thing without a player model. So we're bringing back Robot Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Kyle, come say hi. Here. Say hi, Kyle. Alright, well, he's a silent type, and he's going to be cranky, so we're going to leave him alone. You're going to want to put him in the exact same spot as a first person controller. This means copy and pasting all the coordinates into Robot Kyle, except for Y. You want to remain Y0. Kyle. 
Kyle's Y will stay zero. We're going to scale him a little bit. So he's about the same size. Change this back to zero. He's on his feet. We're going to take the first person controller and disable oh, whoop, graphics. We're going to go over here and disable graphics or delete them. doesn't really matter. Make sure Kyle is right in the middle and then drag him into the first person controller. Now we have Kyle as our character. You're going to want to take the main camera and drag it out a little bit because our camera right now is inside of Kyle's head, which is kind of weird. <laughs> All right, now that we have that, we're going to copy the camera. Now we're not going to have another camera, but this is just the easiest way I find to make another empty game object. And you're just going to delete everything from that camera. Like no, no second thoughts, just get rid of everything. Everything's up for sale. Come on, take your pick. Trust in everything anyways. All right, and we're going to rename this camera axis. I keep bumping my microphone arm. I'm sorry if it's like you can hear the, I don't know, the bump. <laughs> I'll call it the bump. All right, so we have our camera axis. Now we're going to go to our main camera, and we're going to delete mouse look. Now we're going to use something different. And I've covered this in another tutorial. It was my tutorial for making a third-person controller like in The Last of Us. So here I have my new camera script. It's Mouse Orbit OTS. And it's pretty much the same thing as Mouse Orbit, only I did change a few things. If you didn't see that video already, great for you. But we're going to have to cover some other stuff. All right, now Mouse Orbit OTS. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Mouse Orbit. Only the only thing you're going to change is you're going to add two new variables var x offset and make it equal zero because it's the easiest just to change in the inspector and var y offset equals zero then you're going to go down here and you'll see zero or 0, 0.0 i don't remember and zero or 0, 0.0 i still don't remember and you're going to change those to x offset and y offset like i did here and that's really the only thing you're going to change all right so we're going to take that script and we're going to drag it on up to the main camera now down here, you're going to want to change Y, min, min limit, or minimum limit. You're going to change that to about negative 70. This is because it won't really let you look up. <laughs> That's a little problem I ran into while making the tutorial. But just change that to negative 70, and it should work fine. And distance here, we're going to change that to zero. This makes the camera in first person. Now if we go into play mode, our camera won't... Well, our player shouldn't rotate. Or, wait, I messed something up here. Something ain't going right. Oh, I forgot to set the target. All right, so target. We're going to set that to axis. That's why I made that, the camera axis. So now if we go into play mode, you'll see our player isn't rotating, or he shouldn't be. Oh, he's rotating. Here's why he's rotating. That's because we need to go up in first-person controller, and delete mouse look. Then, <laughs> now you'll see that the player only does not rotate, which that's kind of important because we're in first person and our head does not rotate 360. That's why I made a script called look rotate. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. All right, so this script I created, and we use this in our uh, Last of Us third person controller tutorial too. I'm recycling a lot of stuff from that. But it works, so we're allowed. <laughs> I get a freebie. So all of this just means if you're using the mouse X axis or using your camera left and right, then it will equal aim. Now aim will be variable aim rotation is vector three transform rotation Euler angles. That means aim rotation will be this transforming the Euler angles. So if aim is enabled, which is dictated by this, aim rotate will be y and it'll rotate camera main camera and it'll transform rotation of the Euler angle y and then it'll transform the rotation of whatever it's attached to all right now that we're in here we're gonna drag that in first person controller then we're gonna make the aim speed here about 20 this is how fast you'll rotate so now if we go into play mode, you'll see our character does rotate with the camera. 
and it looks all right. We swivel around a little bit, which gives it more of a realistic feel. Move around and such, and it all looks nice. Now the real the the real reason you came here was to see the switching from first to third person. Well, we have three scripts for that actually. We have one that's called Switch View Y, Switch View Z, and Switch View X. We're gonna go in alphabetical order here. Let's start with X. All right here we have Switch well Swift View X because I forgot to put the C because I can't spell good. <laughs> so here we have our variables. We have var FPS, which is what our camera will be in when we're in first person. Var TPS, which is what it will be in third person, which is three. And var smooth, which is going to be how fast it transitions from both. Then we're dictating what script this is going to change something in. So it's going to be our mouse orbit OTS script. Now here we have our function update. Sorry, function update. Let's get but get key down F. You could change that to whatever key you want, and it will just change the button. Now we have, if zoom in equals true, zoom in is dictated over here. If, get key down F. So if zoom in equals true, or you've pressed F, orbit OTS dot X offset, that means it will switch the X offset variable in our script to FPS as it dictates right here. This is why we had you change your script. It will change that, and down here it says, if that's not true, or zoom in equals false, orbit.ots.x offset, it's setting the same uh, variable to change, will lerp to TPS, or three, which we're probably gonna change, because that's a really, really high number. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drag that in our Swift View X to our main camera. We're going to change TPS to about 0 0.65. Three is a really high number for this, and you'll see what it does here. So I'll look down so you can tell. Here's what it looks like in third person and first person. It switches between the two. You can't really tell the difference as of, well, you can see the difference of it moving side to side, but it doesn't look like third person. We're going to fix that because we still have the other scripts to be working on. So we have switch view Y and Z. Let's go into Y. I'm not really going to go over this script because it's the exact same thing as Swift view X. <laughs> All right, so we have our same variable, same number, same everything. Only instead of orbit OTS dot X offset, we have orbit OTS dot at Y offset. This does the exact same thing, only changes the Y offset instead of X offset. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drag that script in, the main camera. You already kinda know what it does already. We're gonna change some numbers though. <clears throat> oh, also I forgot, orbit, orbit OTS. We're gonna put our main camera, so it knows where to look, just in case. And same thing here. <coughs> this is only for if you have multiple cameras in your scene. So I'm coughing, this uh, talking like I am now, hurts my throat a little bit. But hey, you get used to it when you do it long enough. So now finally we have switch view Z. This one's a little bit different because it doesn't say Z offset because we don't have a Z offset, but I'll show you what it has. All right, now we're here. And you'll see it says orbit OTS dot distance. Now it's called distance because that's what it is in the mouse orbit script. We don't have a Z offset but the distance will change how far away it is from the character, or not our character, but our camera axis. So you're gonna to wanna to change this to distance, and then that will be your switch view Z. All right, now that we have switch view Z, we're gonna drag that in our main camera too. And then TPS, I want to be two points, uh, let's say four. And our, uh, our smooth is gonna be 13. And our orbit OTS is in our main camera. So you're going to want to have in switch view X, FPS to 0, TPS to 0.65, switch view Y, FPS to 0, TPS to not 3, that's a really high number, 0 0.1. And in switch view Z, we're going to have FPS equals 0 and TPS equals 2.4. 
Now, here's a little thing I want to do. In the Switch View X, we're going to change Smooth from 13 to 7. Now, the reason I want to do this is it's so it moves to the side a little more slowly. So when it's going back into first person, you don't see it actually go through the guy's head. Because then it like shows all the modeling, render stuff. And it makes his head look hollow, which it is. It, may, it pretty much just like, yeah, you'll see that. <laughs> so let's go right and test it out. And the reason I'm not speeding it up, because if you slow it down, going back out, you'll still go through. And it will go through worse. But it looks not as bad going out as it would going in. So you'll see here we have our third-person controller that swivels a little bit when you move the camera. And then when we press F, we go into first person. And with that done, be sure to leave in the comments if you want me to play any fun games or if you want to learn anything about making your own games. Be sure to like, and if you like my content, be sure to subscribe to see more. I have a bunch of social medias. Be sure to follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and Instagram to get up to date on my latest content. And well, if you just want to check out my stuff, maybe have a chat. And since there's nothing else to say, I'll see all you guys in the next video. See you later.